Hi, welcome back to the channel. Let's start with some key points. It seems likely that after replacing your vehicle's oxygen sensor, you should verify installation. Reset the ECU, test the sensor, monitor performance, and address any lingering issues to ensure optimal function. The oxygen sensor is crucial in regulating the air-fuel mixture, affecting engine performance and emissions. Common signs of failure include a lit check engine light and decreased fuel economy. The evidence supports using an OBD scanner to clear error codes and check sensor data. At the same time, a multimeter serves as a backup for voltage testing, indicating fluctuations between 0.1 and 0.9 volts for a functioning sensor. The oxygen sensor plays a crucial role in vehicle operation by monitoring the oxygen content in exhaust gases, allowing the ECU to adjust the air-fuel mixture for efficient combustion. This regulation directly affects engine performance, ensuring smooth operation and reducing harmful emissions, which helps your car meet environmental standards. Common signs that indicate a need for replacement include an illuminated check engine light on the dashboard, reduced fuel economy noticeable in lower miles per gallon, decreased engine power or rough idling affecting drivability. For example, in a Toyota Camry, a faulty oxygen sensor might trigger these symptoms, prompting replacement to restore performance. After installing a new oxygen sensor, immediate actions are crucial to ensure proper integration with the vehicle's systems. Confirm the sensor is correctly seated in its designated location, typically in the exhaust manifold or downstream, and that all electrical connections are secure and undamaged. Ensure no wires are pinched or exposed. It's recommended to clear any stored error codes using an OBD uh, scanner to reset the ECU, allowing it to start fresh with a new sensor. This step is vital as the ECU may have adapted to the old sensor's data, potentially affecting performance. Research suggests that while not always mandatory, resetting is a good practice. Some vehicles, like a 2007 Acura MDX, might have a secret menu to erase codes without a scanner, but this varies by model. A basic OBD scanner, available for around $50, can be purchased at auto parts stores, making this step accessible. Alternatively, disconnecting the battery for about 10 minutes can reset the ECU, though it may affect settings like the radio clock. The importance of these steps lies in ensuring the ECU recognizes the new sensor preventing misreads that could lead to poor fuel trim adjustments and reduced efficiency. Testing the new sensor to verify the oxygen sensor is functioning correctly. Use the following methods. Connect the scanner to the vehicle's OBD port, usually located under the dashboard. Check for any diagnostic trouble codes related to the oxygen sensor, such as P0135 or P0136, which indicate issues. View live data to ensure the sensor's voltage output fluctuates between approximately 0.1V and 0.9V when the engine is running, indicating it responds to changes in exhaust oxygen levels. If an OBD scanner isn't available, set a digital multimeter to DC voltage mode and connect it to the sensor's signal wire and ground while the engine runs. The voltage should fluctuate between 0.1V and 0.9V, showing the sensor is active. Note that the engine must be at operating temperature for accurate readings, and this method requires identifying the correct wires, which can be complex for laymen. Specific indicators of a functioning sensor include no error codes related to the oxygen sensor on the scanner, voltage fluctuations between 0.1V and 0.9V, showing responsiveness to the engine conditions. Quick response time to changes, such as during acceleration or deceleration, observable via live data on the scanner. Testing every 60,000 miles for heated sensors ensures longevity, emphasizing the scanner's role in comprehensive diagnostics. Most replacement, monitor your vehicle's behavior to assess improvements and identify any issues. Conduct a test drive in varied conditions, including city driving with frequent stops and highway driving at steady speeds. 
This helps evaluate performance across different loads. Novative gas mileage improves comparing recent fill-ups to pre-replacement records. Better efficiency is assigned to sensors optimizing the air fuel mixture. Pay attention to acceleration, noting if it feels smoother and more responsive. Idling should be steady, without roughness, and the check engine light should remain off. Document any improvements, such as increased miles per gallon with smoother starts, and note persistent issues like continued rough idling or lit check engine light, which may indicate further problems. If issues persist after replacement and testing, investigate potential causes. Inspect for vacuum leaks, which could mimic oxygen sensor issues by altering air intake. Check spark plugs for wear as they affect combustion and ensure the fuel system, including injectors, is functioning. Wiring to the sensor should be intact with no corrosion or loose connections. If unable to diagnose, seek a professional mechanic. They can use advanced diagnostic tools to identify issues like a faulty catalytic converter or ECU problems, ensuring comprehensive resolution. Resolving lingering problems is crucial to prevent further damage, such as to the catalytic converter, which can fail if the air fuel mixture remains off leading to costly repairs. Following these steps, verifying installation, resetting the ECU, testing the sensor, monitoring performance, and addressing issues, ensures your vehicle's oxygen sensor functions optimally, maintaining engine health and efficiency. Regular attention to these aspects, supported by tools like a basic OBD scanner, empowers car owners to keep their vehicles running smoothly enhancing both performance and longevity.